let's take this one here. It's okay. So let's start with question number one, guys. Question number one. Question number one. I'm just going to very quickly draw the the curve and do and I'm going to do all the all of the stuff. I'm just going to do the ranges, right? And here's what we have. We have um, 4K, right? We have two 4K, and we have 6K here. And four. I'm going to start with A, and I will do both. Uh, actually, this is B. I started with B, and this is uh, 10K. And this is 15K, and there's three of this and one of that guy. Okay, so that's for A. That's for A. And I'll, I'll do B after that. Okay, I mean, that's for B. And I'll, how many of you guys have got the B version? Two of you? Nobody? You got B? Karen, do you have B or a B version? B, okay. So 15KW. And what we're supposed to do is size a few things for this baby. <clears throat> so um, we need to size the feeder and the overcompetition device for the feeder. The feeder and the overcompetition device for the feeder. Um, feeder ungrounded conductor. So that would be my E. And, um, and feeder grounded conductor. That would be the neutral here. That would be my B. Okay. And then we need to go bright circuit uh, for the 6KW. Uh, the 6KW, I want you guys to do that. Uh, uh, oh, the overcompetition device. Sorry, this will be the C here. The overcompetition device for the feeder. And then D would be the, this is my D, the conductors. The conductors, that neutral that comes with D is E. Can you guys see that? E is the neutral. Overcompetition device is this guy. So for the 6KW, I want you to find this is we call it F. And then uh, G, the bright circuit for the 15K. This is my 15K. So we need to find, um, sorry here. We need to find, um, this is my G. And, um, and then we need the grounded conductor with it, which is this one. This will itch and the overcompetition device right here, which is I. Everybody can see what we're trying to achieve. Size this system. Size this system. Okay, let me guys start with the calculation. The first thing you need to find is the demand. I want to remind you guys there's 4K, 6K, and 10K, and 15K. 4 and 6 are under which column? Which column? Under. 4 and, four and 6 are under column C. So here's the, the first thing you need to start is finding the demand. So I have um, four. How many? How many of them? I have two. Four K. And and six. And four four six K. Four six K. You're gonna go directly from table three. Oops, not three. Two twenty dot uh, two. 20.55. What's the demand for um, under column C for six of these? Un under column C for six ranges. The demand under column C for six ranges. Can somebody? 21. 21 KW. 21 KW. Okay. Now, this is your starting point. So 2, 4K, and 4, 6K under column C, give you 21. Now remember guys, not number, which note that would be not number um, three, allows you to do some deleting, uh, allows you to go lower than that, right? So let's go, so if you go to not number three, so I'm gonna go, so this is for these, then for not number three guys, it says uh, you take, um, so you take the two multiplied by four plus the four multiplied by six, okay? And that will get you, and then multiply everything by all of them, multiply everything by 0. 0.43, and that will get you at 13.76 kW. 
And then you're going to compare, and why did they do it this way? Because this is from not number three, applying table um, 220.55. When you apply note number three, guys, table 220.55, it will tell you that you have to add them up because they're all under, they're all under what? They're all under uh, A, B. They're all under B. They're all under column B. Any comments, guys, when we came up with this? Any comments? 13.76, because they're all under column B. They're all under column B. So that's been, uh, then, um, uh, Karen, you compare the 21 with the 13.76, you end up with 13.76 because there's a smallest. Does that make sense? That's the smallest. So that's for these ranges. For the other ranges, uh, the second two ranges, um, the 10 and the 15K, for the, I have one 10K, and um, 315, when you guys take them to table 220.55 under C, it will tell you the demand for these, um, oops, okay. the demand for these four ranges, the demand for uh, these four ranges from the get go as uh, what? 17, thank you, 17 KW. Except now, now, right? That's from the get-go, four ranges, under C, give you 17. But since uh, since not number one apply to them, guys, not number one, so then I'm gonna go apply not number one, and not number one says add him up, so 10 plus three times 15, the 10 becomes 12, right? Average them, divide them by four, that's what I did. Add them up, average them. The 10 becomes 12, remember that? So that will get you 14 point something, 14.3 KW. Then you take the 14, 14, which becomes 14 minus 12, that will get you how much? Three. 3KW, so the average is 3KW further away from 12, right? 3KW further away from 12. Um, what do I want? 3, is it Monday? Thank you, 2KW. The average is 2KW away from 12. Then you increase the demand 5% for every KW, the average is more than 12. And that's what we're going to do. Any question, guys, about this before I leave this? So first you find the demand for all these, then you average them based on not number one, assuming that you guys have uh, looked at uh, number one already and all the stuff. So remember how we, anything we said 12, it becomes 12, add them up, right? We're 12 far, far away now. Now my demand, piece of cake, my demand, the demand would be, um, my demand would be for, for this step, it would be 17 times, um, oh yeah, there's one step here where you have to take the 2 multiplied by 5%, that will get you 10% increase, increase, then the actual demand, you take 1.1 multiplied by 17, and that will get you 1.1 times 17. That will get you. What would that get you? Is that somebody 13 point? Uh, no. What would that give you? 17 times 18.7. Thank you. 18.7 KW. This is the demand for this range. This is the demand for these set of ranges. Then the total demand, guys. Total demand, you just add them up. Total demand, you take your um, your 13 point, uh, what did we say, 76, you add it to 
the 18.7, and that will get you a total 32.5 kW. That's what you're going to size for. Any comments, guys? Any questions? Any comments? Any questions? I'll go back and put the answers, the same steps, but I can put the answers for wrong. Uh, so that's a demand for um, uh, for the total, all the ranges put together. You up it ten percent. Yeah, because of because they're more than because some of them are more than 12, because not number one apply. That's why you didn't do it. Any comments, guys? Matt, does it make sense? Okay, so now this is the most important step because without this, guys, your answers downstream will be, of course, uh, screwed. The numbers will be screwed. Okay, then now finding A, which is the feeder, feeder, it becomes piece of cake. You take I, you take the 32.5K divided by 240, and that will get you a healthy 135.4 amps. And then from here, you take 135.4 amps, take it to table 310.15B7, and that will get you uh, two conductors, number what? Number one, A-W-G-T-H-H-N. Two conductors. Any question guys about this? I will go back to A and put the answers here for A. Same thing, put the answers for A. Now for a, for the neutral guys, B is feeder, feeder, feeder neutral. For the neutral, the only thing you do is you cut this by 70%. You take 0.7, multiply it by 135.4, that'll get you a healthy 95 amps, 95 amps. Now we're gonna take it to the same table, table, 310.15B7, and that will get you a, a conductor, one conductor, number four, AWG, THHN. That's your neutral. I, that's my neutral. Any comments, guys, any questions about the phase in the neutral for this feeder? The phase in neutral for this feeder. For B, this is this is actually A, uh, B the one. For B, the answer is exactly the same. Exactly the same. The numbers are slightly different, sizing, but the the answers are the same. Okay. Any comments, guys, about finding the feeder, hot conductors, and the neutral, feeder neutral? Derek, does it make sense? Yes, no? A little bit? Now C, which is the piece of cake now. Here's my C. C is the overcurrent protection device. For the overcurrent protection device, guys, you're going to take the 135.4 take it to 240.6, and that will get you 150 amp. 150 amp. So your overcome protection device is going to be 150 amp for the feeder. By the way, let's go to A. A, the same answers. A would be exactly the same. The answer for the A would be uh, two conductors number one, and uh, the feeder ground conductor will be number four. Okay. And the overcompetition device will be 150. Any comments, guys? Any questions? Now let's go quick to the brand circuits. 
A, B, C, D. Let's go directly into D. D is the branch circuit. Now, I, I, I want to remind you guys, D, the branch circuit for 6KW. So, branch circuit for 6KW. Okay, so for 6KW, for 6KW, guys, since it's a range, the code allows you, that's where a lot of you made a mistake. Since it's a range, the 6KW, the, the code allows you to uh, table 220.55 under B. You take 0.8 and you multiply it by 6, and that will be the derivative factor for you, 4.8 KW. The code allows you for branch circuit to use the table for ranges. They're all ranges, guys. So that's what... 0.8 is one range under B. One range under B. That's thank you. Let's write the note here. So under B, this is note number uh, way at the bottom, four. Note number four. Note number four. Note number four, guys, it tells you apply the table to branch circuit of ranges. If you reach this point, the rest is history. Then you're going to find I, because we size 4.8K divided by 240, and that will get you a healthy um, 20 amps even, 20 amps, okay? And then, so that's, um, then you're going to take the 20, 20 amps, switch table and line. 20 amps. Now you can take it to table 310.15B16 because it's a branch circuit under 60 degree column, and that will get you two conductors number 12 AWG. Two conductors number 12 AWG. Now for branch circuit A, B, C, D, T, for E, um, branch circuit neutral, for the neutral guys, since this range is smaller than 8 and 3 quarter, then you don't do it. So the neutral will be exactly the same. For the neutral branch circuit grounded conductor or neutral, it would be identical. So you take the 20 amp. You take it to table 310.15B16. That will get you one conductor, number 12, AWGTHHN. No derivative. This is also THHN. No derivative. Anybody knows why we did not derate 70% for the branch circuit? Of the, because the range is smaller than 8 and 3 quarter. We start derating the range neutral if the range is 8 and 3 quarter and larger. That's what the code says. For branch circuits. For feeders, we, we derate them all the time. The last one, guys, is F, is over compression device, which is a piece of cake. F is over current protection device. And that's, you take 20, take it to 240.6, and that will get you a 20 amp two-pole circuit breaker. 20 amp 2 full circuit breaker. Any comments, guys? Any questions? Any comments? Any questions? Comments? Questions? 20 amp circuit. Like I said, guys, in, in the past, write yourself a note. Bring it with you when you go to the test. This is going to be also on the final. So, the tricky one for this one, we did not derate the neutral atom. Because then the, the range was eight smaller than eight and three quarter. Okay, I'm gonna go directly into G in a second. Any comments, guys? Any questions? Now, uh, for A, for version A, the conductors exactly the same size. Exactly the same sizes. The method is the same, exactly the same, guys. The calculation is the same, right? Um, the method is the same. The answer is slightly different, but the conductor will be two conductors number 12 and one conductor number 12 and 20. 
Everybody understand that A is the same answer as two? The same answer is in terms of conductors. Okay, let me go directly into G. Now G, G guys is branch, circuit, what do I have circuit? This way. What am I looking to do? I don't know why I look like circuit this way. Okay, so branch circuit. Let's put the circuit there. The proper way. There you go. Science? It's not science. It's a branch circuit chair. Okay. <laughs> branch circuit for the 15 kW. The 15 KW. Now from the get go, Derek, from the get go, this range is eight and three quarter. So do you derate the neutral for this range? Yes. Right? Can you see that? The neutral will be derated from the get go. Okay, now you apply the rule for this uh, baby. So I have a 50, one, one 15 KW. Take this one to table. 220.55 column C for one range it will give you 8 kW for one range there's one other problem also we have to apply not number uh, 1 not number 1 here for not number 1 guys it will tell you a hey, take the 50 and minus 12 get you 3 kW and then the same dot number one will tell you you take the three, you multiply it by five, get to percent, get to fifteen percent. And then finally your demand is one point one five. Your demand is one point one five times eight. That'll get you a healthy nine point two KW. Nine point two KW. Any comments? A lot of you guys got Next up here, you apply not number one. If this is not number one, was that not number number four? We got that one. Okay. I'm sorry. This one. Can you guys change this one to? Because these are the same, the, the, this is, will be not number two, as a matter of fact. This is not number two because they're different answers. They're exactly the same, kind of, but number two will average them. Not number two. That's what I thought. If that's one, that will make the other one not number two. Okay, then the rest is history. Then you, will, you need to find I, take the 9.2K divided by 240. And that will get you a healthy 38 point, it's like 3 amp. And then you have 38.3 amps. You're going to take it to which table? 310.15 B17, uh, 16, not 17, B16. Under column C, and not C, under column 60, 60 degree column Celsius, and that will get you number eight, two conductors, number eight, A, W, G, T, H, H, N. And that will be uh, basically G. Now I, is piece of cake. I guess it's for the neutral. So you're going to take um, the same thing, branch, circuit, in neutral mode. You're going to take the number that you came up with, this one, cut it by point, point 0.7 because it's larger than 8 and 3 quarter. That'll give you a 26.81 amp. And then from here, 26.81 amps, take it to the same table. Table 310.15B16 under 60 degree column, Celsius, 60 degree column Celsius, Celsius, that will get you one conductor, number 10, 
A W G T H H N. Any comments, guys? Any questions? Yes, sir. Up on the top, we have uh, the note number one, 15 minus 12 equals 10K. 15. Yes? Uh, where did you get the 12? Oh, the 12 is, this is from note number one. It says, if you read it, it says, anything larger than 12 increases by 5%. That's interpreting anything larger than 12 increases by 5%. So we have 15. How far away is the 15 from 12? What do you do? You subtract it. That's interpreting. If you read through, it says, if your ranges are larger than 12, then anything larger than 12 increase the demand 5% for every KW more than 12. Yeah. The last thing, my friends, on this project um, is the overcome fiction device, which is I. I is a branch circuit overcurrent protection device that will uh, take the 38.3, take it to 240.6, that will get you a healthy 40 amp. 40 amp, two full circuit breaker. Okay, so that's for B. For A, guys, identical. The same answers. The guys who have A, the same answers in, term of, uh, in terms of numbers. Your ranges in in A was 14 kW. So the calculation, when you do the calculation, it's going to be slightly different the numbers, but the answer will be the same. And I picked them up intentionally. Any comments, guys? Any questions about the range calculation between this example and the one that we did before, guys? That should get you a, a good good start. Any question before I move to? Uh, question number two, which is, that's an easier one. Any comments? Okay. So I'm going to make, for question number two, question number two, I'm going to use uh, version A. V, A. I'm going to use version A, guys. So just so you know. It says I have a metallic box. The metallic box, guys, has the following. You have a metallic box. It has um, two cables, 14, 14, 3. And it has one cable, uh, 12, 3. And all alarm, and two cables, um, number 10, 2. Uh, the box has internal clamps, clamps, and a workman grounded conductor. Um, okay, so I have a box, and the box has two conductors 14 3 and one conductor 12 uh, 3 and two conductors 10 2. And we need to size this conductor, right? Find the minimum size. That's piece of cake, guys. We've done that one, right? So I'm going to go directly into, I put them this way so I can do the math. So the first two guys is for the cables. The second two, uh, three uh, is for the number of conductors. And the third two, um, in my case here, is for the, uh, for, uh, for the number 12. So that will give me 12 cubic inch. One more time. The first number here, Karen, is for the number of cables, because I have two cables. The second number is the three, because the three conductors. And the third number is two. This is the, the allowances, the cubic inch allowances for number 14. Cool. So, and all this uh, stuff that we're using is 3.14 A and B. All this is from 3.10.14 cable A and B. These are all the information. Okay, the rest is history. So I'm going to go directly and start uh, putting in. So now I have one cable multiplied by how many conductors? Three conductors. What's the allowance for number 12? Is 2.25. And that will give me uh, 6.75. And then uh, these are two cables multiplied by two. How many conductors? Uh, what's the allowance? 2.5. And that will give me uh, 10. 
The clamps, all the clamps count as one, guys, based on the largest conductor entering the box, which is 2.5. That will give me 2.5. And uh, equipment running conductor all count as one based on the largest conductor into the box, 2.5. And when you add these, you're going to end up with healthy 33.75 cubic inch. Any comments, guys? Any questions? That's straightforward. When you do it, always put it this format. It's easier to put them. First, the cable. Second, the conductor. Third, the allowance. Right? Okay, so from if when you guys take then that's step one. Step two, when you take the three three point seven five cubic inch, take it to table table three ten dot fourteen. That's a. That will give you a size of a square box, a four and eleven over sixteen by um, two one eight square box, metallic square box. So that's the size that we're looking at. That's my size. Square, it's a square box. So it's a four by four, um, four and 11, 16 by four, 11, 16 with a depth of two, one, eight. Any comments, guys, any questions? Comments, questions? So this is your A, this is your A, your B here is asking you extra, extra number 14, 2, that you can pull. How many extra number 14, 2 you can pull in this conductor? That's easy. What do you do? How many extra number 14, 2? It's a cable, 14, 2. Then, then, then uh, if you guys go to to table four, three ten dot fourteen a, it will give you the allowances for this box um, is forty two. Forty two minus the already occupied three three point seven five. That will get you a healthy two point one. I'm sorry. That will get you a healthy. Um, 8.25 then you take the 8.25 divided by 2 for the cables because there's two conductors 2 for the allowances and that will get you a 2.1 and obviously this will be a 2 and your answer will be 2 cables 14 2 and um Dash B. How many extra cables you can pull to this box? Two cables, um, 14 2. One more time. Any question that's where I came? So this is easy. We, this is from here. Where did I get the 42? That's a cubic inch for the 4 and 11 16 by 4 and 11 16 by 2 and 1 8. Cubic inch, right? You take the cubic inch of that box, subtract it with from what's already occupied. The leftover, you divide it by two by two. The first two is for um, the number of conductors, because there are two conductors in the cable. The second two, the second two is the allowances for number 14. If it was number 12, it will be two by 2.25. Any comments, guys, how to do a box fill calculation? Box fill calculation. This is for A. Let's continue with A2. Now for B, for version B, guys, the same answer. The calculation is slightly different, but you end up with two conductors 14.2. For uh, version B, guys, the box that you would end up is the same size box, and the calculation is going to end up with two conductors 14.2. So both of them, the answer two conductors 14.2. Can I have thumbs up, Chad? We fully understand it. Derek? Okay. It's not really, this is it, guys. It's as ugly as it gets, really nothing. 
The only thing that could change, if I say 12, 2 here, this 2 here at the bottom becomes 2.25. If, if I say 10, 2, this 2 here at the bottom, it becomes, uh, this. the second 2 becomes 2.5. Continue the same math. Okay, I'm going to go back to version B here and do the calculation for question number 4. Question number 3. Question number 3, version number uh, B. I'm going to B this time. I have an EMT conduit, guys. And an EMT conduit has, one EMT conduit has 3 number 12, and 2 number 1, and 3 number 4 out. All current current conductors. So EMT inside the EMT, you have uh, three number twelve, and also you have two number one, and also you have three number uh, four. Hot. The insulation for all of them is T H H N. Okay, and the ambient temperature ambient temperature happens to be 40 degrees Celsius. I can't get worse than that. 40 degrees Celsius. Okay. So find the following. The maximum current carrying for number 12. So A, for A guys, I'm asking you under these circumstances, under these circumstances, how much current number 12, number 12 T H H N number 12 H H N under these circumstances T H H N how much current that baby can carry under these circumstances? Oh, all right. So the first thing you need to do is take uh, if we take this one, guys, to table 310.15 B16 under 90 degree column, that will give you 30 amps, right? You start with the 30 amps. From the get-go, because it's the HHR. Then, you take the 30 amps and cut them first. How many current carrying conductors guys do I have? How many current carrying conductors? I have, I have, if you add all these, these are all current carrying, carrying conductors. You add them all up, so I have three, three, uh, six, eight. Right? I have eight carrying carrying conductors. What's the rating? For eight carrying carrying conductors. Can somebody give me the answer, please? Seventy percent. So then you're gonna to go to table three ten not fifteen B2A. Oops, no. Um, you're gonna go you're gonna to go to uh, B three A for and then you take the A first, you're gonna multiply it by 0.7. Then you're going to multiply, that's because of bundling. Where did this come from? This number here, 310.15 B, A, uh, 310.15 B, 3 A, 3 A, B, 3 A, okay? Then next, because of the temperature, you're going to multiply it by 0.91. And where did that come from? This is coming from 310.15B. What would that be? Uh, B2A. B2A. And gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, you get your 19.1 amps. 19.1 amps. How much current this conductor can carry 19.1 amps? So Derek, I don't know why you guys, some of you did not multiply by the two of them. There is temperature, there is a temperature, problem with the temperature and bundling. So you have to multiply by both of them, please. You multiply by both of them. Okay. So this is A. B for this boy has over current protection device. Then you take the 19.1 amps, guys. Take it to 240.6. And if it's not a standard, typically we go down. So what do you go down to what? 15 amps. So that baby, the 15 amps. Now, there are circumstances where you can go up, like I told you, if it's not feeding 
um, assemblies, multi-outlet assemblies, and um, and so forth. But the rule is you go down 15 amps. Then your beautiful number six, number twelve is only carrying fifteen amps. Any comments? Guys, any questions about that? Shall we go to the second one? Karen, okay, good. So for the second one is I'm repeating myself, guys. That's why. Same thing. This is question number three, except this one is C. For C. I have four odd. My four odd, I need you guys to table 310.15 B16 under 90 degree power. For four odd, if you guys go there, you're going to find that four odd can carry 260 amps for derating purposes. For derating purposes. Then, for sizing purposes, you take the 26 and you start chopping it first. The first chop is 0.7. That's the same, right? What do you think the 0.74? That's for bundling. The second one is 0.91. Actually, both of them are the same, 0.91. The same numbers, that will get you 165 amps. So how much current this conductor can carry under these circumstances? 160, is it 65 or 66? Can somebody check that one for me? I think it's 166, yeah. Yeah, with approximate 166, yes. Yeah. Okay. Then the last thing, A, B, C, D, D, guys, is over current protection device for this conductor. You take the 166 amps, you take it to 240.6. And what's the next standard over protection device? Down 150 amp. I'm going to warn you, on a feeder like this, on a feeder like this, also you can go up, guys. If it's feeder, you, can, you could have gone up to 175 amps. You could have gone to 175 amps, because most likely this is a feeder going to a panel and so forth. But on the test, I told you to go down. So if you went 175, give you check, and if you went 150, I give you right. So you go no, you can't. Well, the, the, unless you know, unless they tell you specifically this is feeding specific load, not multi outlet assembly receptacles and so forth. Any comments, guys? Any questions about that? Now, if you are in version, this was version uh, A. If you're doing B, you got the same identical. Any comments, guys? Any questions? Let me do the last one, which is piece of cake, and then uh, I'll let you get a quick break. Four. Four, let's do B. Question number four, version number B, or letter B. For four, straightforward guys. I have um, I have a 400 amp and a 250 amp and a 125 amp and 110 amp. All these are. This one is the main and feeding all these, right? And I need to find, all of them are feeding dwellings. So you take this one to table, V10.15, V7. And then you can find the sizes for each and every one of them. So the sizes will be, for the first one, we're not gonna derate neutral here, without derating, three conductors 400, KCM, the second one will be three conductors, uh, four odd, number four odd, uh, EWG, and three conductors, number number two, EWG, and the last one, three conductors, number three, EWG. 
My intention of this exercise, guys, is to make you go to this table and exercise picking the information from it. No calculation, nothing. Have I derated the neutral here? No. Could I have derated the neutral? Yes. Could the neutral be lower? Yes. But I have I have not given you any information to derate the neutral. So if, if you don't know anything about the neutral, what do you need to do? You just leave it as is. Any comments, guys? Any questions? So, respectively, from 400 to 110, the answer will be 400 KCM to number three. Any comments? Can I have thumbs up, Chad? We under fully understand that concept now. Good. Derek? Karen? Okay, Adam? All right. So that's why I wanted to go over it one more time, guys, make sure, because these are very important concepts, you know, how to use. We get out of here and you're going to be sizing stuff. Like I said, not next week, the week after, or the week before, after it. You're going to be sizing this, by the way, this example that you see here, you, this is exactly what the uh, residential project is all about. You're going to be sizing panels, the common panel, apartment one and two and three. You're going to come to me and say, Chad, how am I going to size it? Here's the example. You're going to go to that table. Okay. So we guys have five minutes and then I'm going to go over the theory quick. And then I'm going to walk you quick through CAD, how to lay out the lights and then we're done for that one. Thank you. I can